All right, so we just want to make sure we're confirming that we're installing the spring IFD correctly. So the oil is filled up um, to the bottom of these bleeder slots um, for installing the cartridge. And because it requires so much force to get this down all the way in the cartridge, what we're having to do is there's no way we can obviously seal this up from here. So what we'll do is just bleed this all the way and let more air come out and won't show the whole thing on video now. But what I'm having to do is I'm having to bring this dampening rod all the way up into the stroke to release enough fluid out of the slot bleeders in order to compress the spring down into, uh, into the cartridge. All right, we're just on the last part of our bleeding process. I'm holding the top down. Uh, we still can't compress it into the cartridge yet, so we have to bleed a little bit more. And RC268, go ahead. So while I'm holding, holding the top as much as possible, just keeping some positive pressure, Rich is bringing the rebound all the way in, and that is forcing a little extra oil out of the slot bleeders. Just trying to put the IFP in, the final step. We bled it out as much as possible, brought the rebound damper all the way up, and released as much air and oil out of these slots as we can. And now I just need to figure out, put enough force on here to get her buttoned up. So, just making sure that's correct. Hopefully that's a typical amount of force that's required.